Hi Aquarius, welcome to your reading for the month of April 2016. This is Lucy the Antigua Tarot and I am Lucy. And here is your nine card spread. We have you at the center with the, uh, the, with the King of Cups. And um, let me tell you a little bit about this card, these cards. Um, this is your King of Cups. And if you notice there, it says Rey de Copas. And that is because I bought these cards in January when I was visiting family in Guatemala. And I found this Rider Waite Smith deck it, with Spanish titles for the major arcanas and the court cards. And I just love that. So Rey is king and Copas are cups. So that's the king of cups and that's your center. My dear friend Aquarius. Okay, so there's your center, and then your reading begins with the Ace of Cups, As de Copas. Okay, that's the energy that's coming in. And then you have El Mundo, the world. Okay. And then following the world, you have the Queen of Swords, La Reina de Espadas, the Queen of Swords, beautiful queen. And you also have the King of Swords down here. So you have the Queen of Swords and you also have the King of Swords, El Rey de Espadas. You have a lot of court cards. Actually, you have three. The Queen of so uh, the Queen of Swords, yeah, the King of Cups and the King of Swords. Okay, and you have, let's see, one, two, one, two, three major arcanas. El Mundo, you have Los Enamorados, the lovers. And then coming out, leaving your reading with La Justicia, Justice. Okay, beautiful, beautiful cards. And then you have, let's see here, your Seven of Cups. Okay, and you have your Sota de Basto, de, de Pentaculos, or Sota de Oros, which is the page of uh, Pentacles. Okay, so and that's your reading for this month. So what we're going to do, the way I usually do my readings uh, is that I uh, start with the middle, card this middle card would be you it's where you're at right now and then uh, that's generally how it works and then you know we come in with the energy that's coming in with the first card so let's start with the king of cups lovely card and cups when we when we talk about cups we're talking about emotions and this is the king of emotions this is uh, an older person, one of the most loving cards in the tarot. This is a kind, honest, and gentle king. It's usually somebody you know, probably a man for sure. Uh, you have, what it's saying is that you have someone in your life who is just about to take you under their wings and take care of you. Or maybe you are this person and you have someone in your life that you're about to take under your wings and take care of them, okay? So if, um, if uh, it indicates, you know, somebody around to help you when you're going through hard times. And this is the time to reach out for people, uh, uh, to reach out to people, okay? Now, this person is around you right now if, if it's not you, this person is around, okay? And um, and you will find this person, you will find him. He will make himself apparent, apparent to you, okay? He will make himself known to you. You know, and sometimes when you're, when one is going through hard times, one really needs to find, um, reach out to people and ask for help. And my dear Aquarius, is if this is you, it's telling you this is, you know, this is what's going on. 
okay and I have a feeling that it probably um, I have a feeling that this energy is someone who's really close to you that's why it's at the center because it is pertaining to you it's not you but it's someone who's older and who's really close to you who really cares about you and who's um, you know uh, going to make himself known to you it's a beautiful card now you're starting with this wonderful ace of cups as the copas and this is an awesome card it's a very positive card and it is a good luck card and uh, it's water cups emotions okay so this card is talking about new beginnings new friendships so energy is coming in that's going to be new in relation to maybe something that you're embarking on that's going to be new that you might be very excited about because it is an emotion emotions or maybe you are finding yourself in social situations where you are making friendships or will be it also is saying that you will regain your confidence you know so maybe you have been feeling a little bit under the weather in the month of March and now in April you're coming in and you're feeling a little bit more confident and uh, it's also saying that you will be getting recognition okay so that might be in relation to um, uh, uh, recognition in relation to your work this cup because it is emotions it is also telling you uh, to express yourself to go ahead and express your feelings okay sometimes um, we are very excited something wonderful has happened to us and yet we don't we don't let anybody we don't celebrate that okay so express yourself in terms of love it's speaking of emotional fulfillment it's also reminding you to be honest and caring like this wonderful king of cups here okay and it's also saying that you will find um, you will find love perhaps at work okay and it's also telling me that you really love your work so I hope this resonates for you my dear Aquarius this is a general reading so it may not apply to everybody most likely but if some things might resonate okay and usually the question that I ask when I do the the shuffles of the cards they're just general um, let me know how they're doing for this month and if there's any advice that needs to come their way please let me know show it in the cards and that's usually what I do all right so here we have your beautiful major arcana your first one el mundo the world now this card is reflection towards the outside it is the opposite card of the fool no I'm sorry not the fool the hangman yeah this is the opposite of the hangman in the hangman one reflects inside with the world one reflects outward okay so see things as they really are that's what it's telling you finish projects finish whatever journeys you uh, have started to embark on finish whatever searches or projects investigative projects or whatever kind of spiritual um, path you have taken it's telling you to finish this is this is coming full circle okay so it's asking you to go ahead and do that okay it's a beautiful card it also could be indicating that um, you have just come out of a um, a huge project which was a major challenge for you and that now you have made that transition from uh, student to uh, to master so maybe you did complete that circle and you were just complete you, you just you're getting the recognition for this huge project that was a you know 
a major uh, uh, job for you and a major challenge for you okay and that you're making that transition from student to master it could also mean that perhaps there is a a very important trip coming your way important to you so and it's interesting because it's crowning your king of cups okay so I, I just find that interesting all right and then you're being followed by the queen of swords and she is a lovely queen she's got a beautiful throne she's sitting in this wonderful you know field I can see a river and some trees in the background see that I'll put that a little bit closer see the trees in the little creek or river there and it is a windy day and usually when we see swords we'll see a lot of clouds because swords indicate words at and quick actions quick events now this card suggests someone in your life that you should not mess with <laughs> so that's two people that you have you know you have three court cards and they represent people you know now this is a woman this is a female energy this person is in control okay she does she knows exactly what she's doing and she's in control of her own life and uh, so uh, she may be a little forceful, a little, you know, set in her ideas and in her ways, but she is the queen of swords. So, 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 so though she may be a bit forceful, she, uh, she's, she's very intelligent, the swords, okay? Um, so here you, you've met your match, my dear <laughs> Aquarius, okay? You've met your match. You don't have to avoid this person, but perhaps maybe use a different tactic in how you approach her, you know. Um, so if it's in regarding to work, let's say that perhaps maybe you're in an interview <laughs> looking for work, and this is just an example, right? And you have this, this energy, they're interviewing you. Um, um, you might have to even find yourself in a situation where you're working with someone like this but you know you really have to you have to ask yourself you know can I work with this person can I compromise with this person am I you know is this an energy that I can deal with it's a very challenging energy that's for sure okay so that's that energy is coming into your reading Aquarius my dear friends okay so that's what you have in the top um, column of your row of your cards and um, this is uh, this is what's going on so to me it's almost like it's really very cool because to me it's almost like if we kind of move these cards out of the way <laughs> and we put your king here too and I'll tell you what the king card means because you're forming a cross you see um, the king of the king of swords is someone of authority someone with authority I'm just gonna go straight to the king el rey de espadas this is an authoritative figure um, someone in your life that is that way that is that is this king and again it is the king of swords and notice again the trees and the clouds and there's always birds there too there's a lot of symbology here in this card but uh, yeah it's a really nice card it's a beautiful card both of these cards are really awesome I like their thrones so anyway this card it's telling you to reflect if this is what you really want okay these are very strong the reason why it's telling you that is because it could be somebody in your life an older person it could be a family member like an uncle or your father or a grandfather or even your boss who um, 
are telling you, do it this way, do it that way, don't go there, don't do that, consider this. And it, what it's telling you is to just uh, move back a little bit and reflect on what is it, what is it that, you, that you really want. Kind of like to develop your own opinion about, about things or something. And it could be, so there, you know, these are very important cards uh, in your reading, in my opinion. Uh, and like with, you know, here maybe you're coming up with some new ideas or projects here in this card in your Ace of Cups. And um, you are completing things or maybe you've just completed some important stuff some important things that uh, you got recognized for that were challenging okay and you might have have had to deal with a person like this and you learn to negotiate so you know and it's also telling you that you might meet somebody at work you know and this is also beginnings of relationships or beginnings of projects so this is the energy that's coming into your reading for the month now again this is a general reading, guys. It's not, you know, it's not specific to any one situation. Some things might resonate, you know, and um, that is that is what I am. Uh, those are the cards that came out, and that is how I'm reading them. All right. So now, in your next row or column, I never notice. I never know if I still want to say rows or columns. Um, rows are easier. Columns are kind of hard to pronounce for me. Uh, okay. So. Um, Okay, so look what you have coming next. And it's, okay, here here you are, or, you know, somebody really important who's a big influence in your life, maybe this person has already come in. And then right next to the king of cups are these two cups, these two major cards. This is a major arcana, but then you have the seven and the pentacle down here. So let's look at this one. So this is the lover's card. Let me let me see if I can uh, hold this correctly so that you can. There it is. Los enamorados. Okay, and this is a. There's a lot of symbology going on in this card too, but it is a major arcana and is um, it's denoting um, being in love, being in a loving relationship. Um, you know, love gives us healing. So, if you are in a loving relationship right now, or you are considering one, because it's like, you know, right here, the Ace of Cups is crowning you here, sorry. So, um, you know, if you're considering uh, a love relationship, you know, it's going to be a healing a healing thing for you you know that's what this card could also mean it depends on where you are at on this reading um, it's also um, showing how there might be in that relationship a deep commitment and understanding a mutual agreement you know of what uh, of what it is of where you want to go with this relationship Um, it could also, it could also mean an opportunity, um, to see something from another person's point of view or, or to kind of get a sense of how a person might be feeling by, you know, imagine you imagining yourself walking in, in their shoes. So it could also mean that. Okay. Um, it could also uh, mean um, finding one's, one's own self. In other words, being in a loving relationship with oneself. Loving oneself first. It's also, it also, you might be feeling inspired and confident. Um... You might you might real you might be realizing that you have um, um, you have everything where it needs to be. Okay, uh, things are going pretty good in that in that sense. It could also be saying that um, anything is possible. 
you have everything that you need. Okay. In your life. It's a beautiful card. Really nice. Nice energies. My dear Aquarius, is your energies are awesome. So far, I mean, everything's like pretty positive. Okay, so you have this like kind of like a, you know, strong female person here. But, you know, so what? You know, it's it's not such a big deal. I mean, they're strong they're strong male characters too. So that's she's a queen, so she, you know, she knows what she's doing. She's the queen. Um, yeah, and then you have this lovely cup. I mean, it's like really really cool energies here. Um now this one the 7 of cups okay this one's a little a little challenging not too much okay this is a really awesome cup we see this shadowed person because we cannot see their face but this person there's gray clouds and out of the gray clouds are coming all these like cups seven of them and they all have different things okay A snake, uh, up the one in the middle is a person that's that's got the he their head covered, and then there's another like an angel head which could mean love. I don't know. There's like all these different things coming out of these cups. So this this card means uh, choices and decisions. You have a lot of choices and a lot of decisions to make, and what it's saying is that the more choices you have, the longer it takes to make a decision and the more decisions you have to make. So it's uh, advising you to narrow your options. And uh, it's also advising uh, for you not to look at all the many options because the longer you do that, the longer it'll take you to make a decision. All right, and it, it is following your King of Cups, and it's below the Queen of Swords. So maybe these are people you can seek out for advice in terms of what to do here. Okay, look at what's in front of you, it's saying. Be more precise. Okay. Uh, because this, these are all things in the clouds, you know, it's like you're letting your, maybe you're letting your imagination get away with you a little bit. Okay, so uh, just be more precise and be realistic. See things as they really are. If you are looking for a job, don't go for the job that sounds too good to be true. That kind of thing. You know, just kind of like, um, yeah, don't do that. The same thing with love. If you meet someone and it just seemed too good to be true, well, especially if you're meeting people online, you know, but just in general, I guess. So this is a really cool card. I mean, and this is the only challenge that I see. It's not such a big challenge for you. I mean, this is not such a big deal. You do have people around you who can help you and give you advice. See, which is really nice. All right, and you do have this like some positive good luck cards coming in. So, I mean, you know. Yeah, and sometimes, you know, when opportunities knock at our door, you know, sometimes it just depends. Sometimes they'll say, jump on it, you know. You don't want to lose it. But sometimes we need to think about things, you know. Seek advice. All right. So that we don't find ourselves in difficult situations but you're not I mean the only thing here is this and then you have your page of wands sota de I mean page of pentacles sota de oros and this card is also the challenging card these two cards are your challenging cards I mean you know as far as challenge can go which isn't very much you know, but basically what it's saying is, and maybe also the world, which, tell, which is telling you to complete the circles of, of tasks that you start. So here, basically, um, this, is, uh, this is telling me that perhaps you are bored 
and overwhelmed at the same time in regards to your job because pentacles uh, reference um, um, the money reference money economic stability material stability you know that kind of thing all right and so it's not such it's not a negative card it's just telling you though that you might be feeling bored and overwhelmed at the same time and this could mean that um, maybe you're in a stressful job uh, uh, in a very busy job you know very stressful job where you have to do a lot of tasks fast and meet deadlines and uh, it's stressing you out you know and maybe it's like you're not really that passionate about it passionate about it anymore and you're feeling overwhelmed because it's just so much work you feel like it's just too much work and yeah, there's no passion or excitement about the, your job anymore you know so with this card it's saying to to just roll up your sleeves <laughs> you know Aquarius, my dear friends, just roll up your sleeves. Is this if this is resonating to you at all, then roll up your your sleeves and go with it. Complete the circle. You know that you have up here. The circle. Complete it. Just do the job. Just do it. That's what it's saying. Sometimes we just have to get things done whether we enjoy them or not. Okay, and focus. You know, just focus. Focus on, you know, pick just a few things to focus on. You know, that's what this card, that's all, that's it. That's as challenging as your reading gets, aside from maybe this energy. I mean, you know, okay, so you have uh, the, queen of, the queen of swords, okay, that's a bit challenging. And you have like the seven of cups and, you know, the page of pentacles and that's as challenging as this reading gets i think okay but let's look at the king of swords we did talk a little bit about him at the beginning i have to say that i'm partial to the swords a lot of people freak out they don't really like this energy but i really love this energy okay so the king of swords right so like i said earlier this represents somebody of authority Someone you know that is like that, or maybe you're like that. But I think it's more someone who's like that. So reflect on what is it that you want and have a sense of yourself and your own opinions. Okay, so... Uh, okay, in spite of the fact that you have this energy coming in and kind of telling you, you know, do this or do that, make sure you are not telling someone what to do. Make sure it's not you, and I don't really think it is. But it is saying to step back and ask yourself, am I doing too much? Okay, and that kind of like, okay. Am I doing too much? Am I saying too much? Right? So, um, I, would, I would say that here, in this, if you're feeling overwhelmed because you're at a, in a job that you just don't like anymore, and the, and the tarot is suggesting you just stick with it, fine. But seek, seek advice to make positive changes if need be. You know, but kind of hang in there and complete that. <coughs> excuse me, complete that, complete that task. Okay, that's what it's saying. Really nice. <coughs> and then, <coughs> excuse me, your reading ends with justice. <coughs> Excuse me. And justice, if you as you can see, oops. Um, she has a sword in her right hand and a scale and the scales in her left hand. So this means objectivity and balance. <coughs> your objectivity and communication and how you see the world and balancing all the forces in your life. Work love, family, perhaps, you know, how you balance all of those forces in your life. To do what is what is right, to be rational, not emotional. Especially, you know, and it's in it's it's right below your seven of cups. 
and the Queen, Seven of Cups, and Justice. Be rational, not emotional, and make a decision after you have studied, studied or analyzed it carefully, okay? Uh, whatever new project that you want to embark on or whatever changes you want to make here, you know, um, whatever choices you want to make here, it's saying to just uh, analyze carefully before you make any major decisions in terms of love and your, and your relationship coming in. You know, you have, you know, you've got stuff happening, you know, it's, po it's all positive. But, you know, decisions need to be made, I guess. Okay. And that's what this card means. It could also mean that maybe you're, work, you're re trying to resolve an issue in court. Some kind of a legal case, okay? So that's your readings, my dear Aquarius. And I personally have to say it's a, it's a beautiful, beautiful reading. You've got some really awesome cards, some... Awesome suggestions that we can all use, frankly. Uh, so congratulations. I'm so glad that, you know, that um, you have a nice reading. Uh, and, uh, okay, and so um, I wish you guys a wonderful month of April. Spring is here in the Northern Hemisphere. So please enjoy it. Have a great time with with uh, friends and family, you know, lots of love to you, lots of peace for the month of April, and I look forward to your visit in May. Bye.